Well, Jason, thanks for doing this, first of all. Um, I appreciate, appreciate that. I, I like mm. keeping people informed of what's going on. How is the weather in Honduras? Well, it's actually been a little bit cool. It's uh, 79 degrees <laughs> today. <laughs> so, yeah, a little cool. So that's cool, huh? <laughs> Well, my, my grandson had a soccer game yesterday, and uh, it was about 39, and the wind was, was blowing, and, and uh, oh my, 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 son, my son sent out a text that said, uh, you know, it's been nice seeing you, Winter, for the last two days. It's, now you can leave. <laughs> <laughs> two days. <laughs> yeah. So I guess we are now live, and uh, what, what I'd like to do, everybody, first of all, I want to welcome the Lead Today community. Uh, joining us in this in this time together. Also want to uh, welcome our donors. I want to introduce to you uh, Jason Mola. Uh, Jason, why don't you introduce yourself? Uh, you know your your family, where you're at, what you, what you're up to, that kind of thing. First of all, jump in there, would you? Sure. Well, um, my name is Jason Mola. I've, I'm 51 years old. I've been married for 18 years. And to my wife, Patty, we have one son. He's 11 years old. He's just about to turn 11 on the 30th of this month. And um, I, right now I'm working as a superintendent in Honduras and Tegucigalpa, Honduras. Um, don't say that too fast. Or you get a, <laughs> I'm probably going to try. <laughs> get a cramp in your tongue or something. But um, actually I'm superintending here at the the largest Christian school in, in Honduras, International School of Tegucigalpa. Now, this is also the, uh, the capital city of Honduras, is that right? Yep, that's correct. And say that name again. What's the name of the city? Tegucigalpa. Tegucigalpa. <laughs> I don't know. Did I butcher that pretty bad? <laughs> yeah, it just there's an L towards the end. Tegucigalpa. Oh, Galpa. Uh -huh. Okay, good. Okay, well, I'll I'll leave that I'll leave that up to you. Are are you bilingual? Um, yes, actually, when I came to Central America back in two thousand one, I uh, spoke you know normal I think pretty normal Texan amount of of Spanish. I said you know could say ba baño and things like <laughs> that, uh, but practically I couldn't really have a conversation with anyone or say a full sentence. But yeah, now I, I would say I'm bilingual. And, and you've considered yourself a missionary, uh, I assume. And, and for how long would you say that you've been a missionary? Yeah, actually since 2001. Okay, since 2001. Well, now Jason, you reached out to us at LEAD Today. Tell us, tell us uh, why you, you have reached out to us. Yeah, it's interesting. It was kind of by accident, although I don't believe in accidents. Yeah. But um, I uh, got you guys contact information um, throughout my life for some reason, really without looking for it. I end up getting put in leadership positions. <laughs> when I was younger, it was kind of cool to be the, you know, the the leader that didn't want to be the leader. You know, eh, you know, they want me to be leader, but um, as time went on in different positions, I would s get to that position, spend uh, about a year, and then I, I would find, it seems like there was always a reason that I needed to leave. Mm. And it was usually on my part that I, you know, left the positions. And so this time, um, last, this is my second year as, as superintendent, I was like, you know, I need to take the I need to find out what is going on here and and I want to really s see my potential for being all that I can be as a leader. So I thought lead today. That's great. And it is kind of a funny story though. How how did you learn about lead today? <laughs> well, actually the the previous superintendent uh part of just tra handing over the position he uh, gave me access to his email account and his drive, Google Drive and all of that. And so going through there, I saw, 
an email from from Lee today, and I thought I'm going to check this out. <laughs> well, that's great. And you and I have just started working together. I mean, um, we, we've we've had some talks back and forth, but you are currently working through uh, module one, which is about self self awareness. And we have another appointment in a couple of weeks to continue to work on that. And you know, it it's 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 a module about growing uh, personally, uh, spiritually, relationally, professionally. You know, all of those categories and more. But uh, what what have you appreciated so far? Even though we've just begun, what have you appreciated so far in our time together? Well, it's the idea of you being able to lead yourself well will help you lead others well. And, you know, for me, uh, kind of being in a leadership position has, in my mind has always been more about uh, the what, you know, and like getting the job done. And, and now I'm understanding there's much more to it than that. Um, and I, <clears throat> I can see the potential for um, actually feeling more passion about what I'm doing because I can get into the why, which I've really has been off my radar. Um, believe it's hard to imagine, but it has. Yeah, and I'll tell you what I have learned so far and appreciate about you is uh, the, the level of humility that you seem to bring into the conversation. Um, and you already brought in some self-awareness even before we dived in, and you've already mentioned it here, so thank you for being vulnerable. So why has my stays in leadership chairs been so short? Is it because that's how God made me, where I'm a catalyst, or is there something different that I need to take a look at? And I really appreciate that, and we haven't answered that question yet, but you and I are going to dive into that. And uh, hopefully, you know, we're a safe place, I'm a safe place uh, where we can discover that. And that's something for you to share down the road as you discover it, not in this context. Uh, but I, I come to appreciate that. And, and Jason, the reason why our ministry focuses on leaders is because if I can be a little bit, if I can use some street language, um, you know, leaders are the kings and the queens. They're the, they're the ones that create community, uh, good or bad. And uh, our strategy is that the more that we can have an impact on leaders' lives, the more we can have impact on communities um, uh, around the world. And uh, though this is uh, you know, one slice of our ministry, not, not the whole thing, but one slice of it, uh, that's why we do you know, what we do. If we can help you be a better leader, then all of those children that, that you're responsible for and their families are impacted by lead today through your leadership. So to me, it just makes a whole, whole lot of sense. I just know that in, in all of my leadership positions, I didn't always know who I could really talk to um, that didn't have an agenda that wanted to take my leadership one way you know, or, or the other. Um, burnout is big in leadership. Uh, insecurity is is big in leadership. Uh, leaders are people too, as you described earlier. You have a bride, you have a son, uh, and they are important to us as well. So um, I just appreciate the time that you have taken, and thank you for allowing me to introduce you to our Lead Today family. Is there anything else that you want to say before uh, we we say thank you to everybody? Well, I, I can say that um, it's been an awesome experience so far, and I, I really appreciate uh, the ministry of Lead Today because it, it can be uh, a lonely spot up at the, you know, when you get to the top, it's like, well, I don't know if I can share what I'm struggling with with, with everyone <laughs> here. So it has been really awesome. Uh, experience so far and thanks a lot. Well thank you Lauren for setting this up and thank you Jason and you and I have an appointment here in just a little more than a week so I'll see you again then. Have a great day everybody. Awesome. Thanks for joining us. Thanks.